guys, we're back. I'm Tracy Perry with my husband, Brian. Saturday night at the Reno Event Center is Ultimate Reno Combat, bringing the best MMA fighters to the Reno area. And I am here with promoter Rick Collip in his amazing gym, Reno Academy of Co Combat. And we have his wife, Heather, with us. First of all, this gym is incredible. Thank you so much for having us here. Oh, thank you for being here. Okay, now MMA, for those who don't know, mixed martial arts. There's different types of fighting within that. Tell us a little bit about the different types of fighting. Well, uh, mixed martial arts is comprised of wrestling, jiu-jitsu, uh, Muay Thai, boxing. Um, at this stage and point after, um, I think it started around 1990, but it's pretty much evolved into MMA, and, and um, it's even come together um, uh, more of its own art now. So I see these cages behind us, and I'm sure most everyone has seen MMA fighting. While I have the microphone, I want to ask you, Heather, as a wife, how do you watch this? I, I would be either crying or wanting to jump in there with them and tackle them. How do you, how do you handle that? Um, it doesn't make me nervous at all. My husband and our daughter, she's 14, she does it. Um, it's a sport. They don't get hurt. It's not like some people think it's not barbaric or anything like that. Neither one of them have been hurt. I support both of them, and it's just a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking not barbaric, but, you know, it looks like it hurts. I've never been actually uh, – able to do any of the MMA, but I've known a lot of guys who have, a lot of guys who've come up through the pro ranks, um, and it's a pretty, it's a pretty um, intense sport, but um, when you start talking about the different disciplines, the Muay Thai and the Jiu Jitsu and things like that, this is not something that you learn just over a weekend. Oh, uh, no, it's, I mean, the, the you know, a lot of, a lot of disciplines are, are brought up from even kid, you know, now kids are starting wrestling at you know, five or six, and um, it's just it's evolving so much now. Um, when I started, it was it was um, very um, separated disciplines, and now it's all come together together, and the best of the best are just coming out of everybody. And so when when they we talk about the best of the best, so so if I'm really really good at Muay Thai, um, how good am I gonna be in the ring? Um, if you're really good at Muay Thai, not very good because you'll get taken down. But um, if you, it, it, it's almost like a game of chess. If you add um, a Muay Thai with wrestling, then you're not going to get taken down, so you can practice your Muay Thai more effectively. Or if you're a wrestler and you learn how to box, you know, it, it's kind of funny how that works out. So then, so then in this gym, I mean, we have those types of things going on. How big is this place? Um, we're about 7,000 square feet. And some of the other things that you do here, it's not just about Fight Club. It's not just about um, MMA. There's a whole other area that's involved here in this gym. What, tell, tell everybody who's watching what it is that they can find if they walk through the doors. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy because I, I started out as a fighter, and then I started teaching a, um, a combat style of uh, martial art, and then I evolved into MMA. And um, now we teach uh, children's MMA. We teach teens MMA. We teach women MMA. We have a women's jiu-jitsu class. We have a gi jiu-jitsu class. We have a Zumba class. We have a turbo kick. Um, what else am I missing? Cardio kickboxing and kettlebells. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're pretty diversified now. And, and um, you know, it, it, kind of, it kind of evolved that way because we're trying to get the people um, um, to have the very best uh, training here. So, Are your classes online where you can go and look at the schedule? Yeah, you can go to uh, renoacademyofcombat.com, and, and we have the schedule uh, posted there. So when you're in the ring, do you, you really have to be defensive against all different types of fighting because you don't necessarily know who you're going to be up against, correct? Yeah, I mean, that, that's one thing people don't understand is um, we, we train like 10 rounds here in the gym, and when you actually get in the cage and you're, and you're against an opponent that you don't know that you guys both want to win, um, your endurance just it, it's, it almost um, cuts in, in quarters. Um, just because of the, the mental aspect and the, emotional, the emotions you're going through. But uh, when you're training with people you know and stuff, you can go 10, 15 rounds easy. So it, it's, a, I mean, it's a, a high endurance uh, sport. So Saturday night, it's the 39th fight, is that correct? The 39th, it, it's, our, it's actually our 40th event, but it's a number 39 Ultimate Reno Combat at the Reno Event Center. And it's at 8 o'clock, where can you get tickets? Um, you can get tickets here at the Reno Academy of Combat. You can, uh, you can get them online at Ticketmaster.com, or you can, the best thing to do, and most people just go to the front door at the Reno Event Center that night, so. What's one of the biggest fights that people are anticipating on Saturday night? Um, well, we have a title fight between uh, Andre Mitchell, um, a really, really tough guy. Um, 
and he's fighting E.J. Schmiel from here from Reno, a local, a local kid that uh, um, got to fight in the last minute, and he's going to do the best he can. And, and then we have uh, Sinjin Smith, who's undefeated, uh, one of my students who's fighting uh, Melvin Washington. And Melvin Washington is 6-0, and and, and Sinjin's 3-0. So I always love um, two undefeated fighters because one guy's going to walk out defeated. So. And these are your students, so this is like personal for you. Yeah, we have about five people in, in this event. Um, we have a big, huge guy, six foot eight, Jim Jeanette, and um, he's fighting a guy that's six two and used to be our title holder. So um, Jim's a huge, enormous, strong guy, and then uh, Terrell Big Baby Boson is a, a really tough MMA fighter. So that should be a really good fight, and they go for it. So why is he called Big Baby? I don't know, actually. He's a really, <laughs> he's probably a big baby outside the cage, but he's a really cool guy. <laughs> so I, a quick question. Um, so for somebody like me, I'm, I've, I've not done MMA, but I'm sure that we're going to get fitness challenges to say, hey, why don't you go in the cage and, and fight a round or two. How long would it take you to train me to actually be able to be competitive? Oh, man, you already have the muscle and the, I mean, you're already in great shape. So I would, you know, that, that's kind of a, uh, I would say probably three months to do a pretty good job. So then if, uh, if there was a, um, a beginner's or a novice, is there such a thing in this where, it's, where you just come out and you get your first fight in, and, or is it you just jump right in and you're, you're going against guys who have, you know, 3-0, and 5-0, oh, and oh, you know? <laughs> no, we have, um, that's, that's actually what this event, we, we have, the beginning fights are guys that have 0-0 oh oh fights, mm -hmm. and um, so that's a good place to get a beginning. And then um, our, our event's the number one in the nation now, so we actually get um, fighters from all over the nation. Um, so as it goes through the night, um, the very ending fights are the, the five and O's and six and O's and guys from all over, but we have about three or four of the very first fights that are O and O guys. So no guarantees, no promises, but you, you never know on getting fit. You might, you might see me in the ring someday. So um, I want to know, Heather, do you, do you fight as well? I do not. I teach the cardio kickboxing class in Zumba. Cardio kickboxing is a lot like M MMA, um, but getting punched isn't so much my thing or getting taken down. So I teach the cardio kickboxing with focus mitts, banana bags, boot camp type styles. And my girls and my guys, they lose about 12 inches the first two weeks they start class. Um, I have grandparents to college athletes, pro athletes, everything in between in my class. It's really fun. I want to come back, and I want to take one of your classes, and I want to bring the camera. Yeah, absolutely. All right, well, there you go. So um, if you're not doing anything Saturday night, and you better not be, then head on down to the convention center and uh, check out the – New event center. <laughs> yeah, that place. Check it out, and uh, make sure you go check out this fight. Hopefully we'll be there, and we'll be able to bring you something next week uh, on it. If you need to get a hold of us about anything that we've talked about today, go to brian at loadedtv.com or tracy at loadedtv.com. Uh, you can find these guys again at – uh, Reno Event Center, Saturday night, 8 p.m. And your gym is located at? We are at 3010 Mill Street, uh, Reno, Nevada. And if they want to give you a call, this is the last time, give them a call? 775-240-8253. Uh, All right, well, we appreciate you guys having us here, and we will be right back with a wake-up call.